Hey, welcome back to After the Episode, brought to you by Line Cutters, the adjustable ring that cuts fish in line. Today I got Dean with me. What's going on, guys? All right, we're going to talk about the episode that came out yesterday on Pensacola Pier. Teresa and I and Dean and Jason, Jason. were down there and uh, we looked down over the rail and it was a big school of black drum. Dean had some of his custom Dean jigs with us. We all had them on. And uh, how, did, how did you end up hooking that first drum? First drum, I actually went and uh, my buddy Jason was telling me that they were tipping their jigs with uh, shrimp. So I said, okay, what a better opportunity to use my uh, jig here. With that one, that's a one ounce spearhead. We put just a small piece of shrimp on the back of it. I pitched it in front of the school and one lonely fish out of the school turned and ate it and I was on. What kind of a, a, a is this, does this dart left to right like a hex head or no? Uh, not so much. It has a little bit of play. It's more just flips over itself, if you will. Um, the hex head with that, the slant design on the hex head that we have here, that slant design, which came kind of from the, um, we got the idea from the gotcha plug. So it allows it to do that darting back and forth it motion. left to right, yeah. Right. So you saw the school and, and, and I guess you just threw it in front of the school? Yeah, I, I just timed it. I waited for the school to come around the front, the, the east side of the pier, come around that east corner and waited for them to come. And then I pitched the uh, jig right in front of the school, probably 15, 20 feet in front of them, giving enough time so the jig would hit to the bottom. Once it hit the bottom, I saw the fish turn and he ate and I set the hook. <laughs> Bam. I, uh, now I threw out I threw him a couple times and I had a couple of them turn, no takers. Dean hooked up, and then there was another fellow in the pier that hooked up doing it too. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly what method he was doing. I think he just had a, just a plain, I want to say it was a two watt, just jig head, and he just tipped it with a piece of shrimp. That's mm -hmm. what I think he was doing. I'm not 100% sure, but tipping the jig with a piece of shrimp was working really well that day. Drum in general are not that particular. They're bottom feeders. If it's got a lot of stink on it, especially shrimp stink, they're going to jump all over it. Um, you know, they just rely heavily on smell and feeding off the bottom, you know? Yeah, very much a, a bottom-dwelling fish, for sure. They feed on a lot of the crustaceans on the bottom. You catch them on blue crabs, fiddler crabs, shrimp. Uh, I've caught them on sand fleas. So there's a variety of different baits you can throw at these fish, and they are a lot of fun. And you actually made the newspaper on that. Yes, sir, I did. I must have stole my photo from somewhere. <laughs> Uh, yeah, he, one of the uh, local news journal guys that writes the paper contacted me and asked if he could use the uh, fish picture in the local newspaper, and I said, sure, why not? Well, it uh, looks like you got some more jigs here. Let's talk about these guys. What I are... tend to use these guys more during the winter time, just because a lot of people say, you know, slow and deep. So these are heavier, so they'll go deeper. And I put some glow paint on some of them, so therefore, when they get down into those depths, it'll give a little bit of glow with the help of the UV of the sun and give it a little bit more character up underneath the water. So that helps track the fish as well. I've seen Palm Beach Pete take a jig like this and cut a gulp into three pieces and just put a chunk on there just for stink. Yep. And then just bump it on bottom, bump it on especially the bottom. in the winter time. But we had a lot of fun on the pier that day. Pensacola Pier is a great place to come. And even if you're not fishing, just to walk it and see all the marine life you can see everything from up there, huh? Oh, man, it's a giant fish tank. It's gin, it's gin clear, right? It's just gin it clear. It is beautiful. Definitely come and visit Emerald Coast for sure. Yeah. But, yeah, they're they're running in schools right now, so if you want to get into some black drum, get on the beach. What? Why do you have a duck in the camera? He wanted to be, he wanted to be a part of After the Episode, man. Is that a black drum duck? <laughs> no. <laughs> Thanks a lot for watching after the episode. Bye, say bye, Thelma. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye, Thelma. And we'll see you next time. He's pecking at my microphone. On that note, I gotta go. See y'all later.